Good morning, everyone. This is the HVO Kilauea update for June 7th. In the Lower East Rift Zone, lava fountaining continues at Fisher 8 with fountain heights of 130 to 230 feet, and it also continues to feed a lava flow channel through the Kapoho area with an ocean entry that has a broad front in the general area of Kapoho Bay and vacation lands. It's still producing a vigorous steam and lays plume that, depending on the wind direction, has been blown to the southwest. We remind you that lays or lava haze is a localized hazard and will not travel far downwind. The northern lobe of the Fisher 8 flow has stalled, although there is still some incandescence in the finger of that lobe that advanced into a low depression or graben several nights ago. The lobe that was active on the west side of the Four Corners cinder pit is now inactive and no other fissures are active at this time. Pele's hair and other lightweight glass fragments are accumulating in the Leilani Estate subdivision and strong winds can blow those particles farther from the area because they are made of glass and can cause skin and eye irritation. You should minimi minimize contact with them. At the summit, a small explosion with the energy equivalent to a magnitude 5.6 earthquake occurred at 4.07 p.m. yesterday and created an ash plume that rose to a height of 10,000 feet. Seismicity dropped after the explosion but is increasing again and following the pattern of the next few days we expect the next small explosion in about 24 hours. Slumping of the rim and walls of Halemaumau crater continues in response to the ongoing summit subsidence. Vog emissions from the summit and the fissures remain high and in the next several days wind may bring Vog not only to the south and west sides of the island but to the interior as well. Thank you.